Hey, do you see these? Let's get these under control. So I'm using regular eyebrow pomade from Anastasia. You can use any pomade you have and an angle brush just so that I can get a precise line. So I draw a line to connect each brow. There is a technique that some people use to fill in their brows the same way. So if you're used to filling in your brows this way, it's gonna be able to help you wax your brows precisely as how you fill them in. So the wax that I use is a hard wax and an angle tool as you see in the video and so it doesn't move it's pretty easy to apply and you don't need too many tools to wax your eyebrows not even gonna lie doing this on camera was really extremely hard because I was trying to stay in focus and do my brows at the same time so it was really hard but I feel like it's not gonna be that hard for someone at home just doing exactly and following what I did because you're not trying to stay in focus on the camera So I thought it would be funny or maybe not funny because now all the wax is on here. So I'm gonna now, now this is hard wax so you could just lift up. It's not like that wax where you need the paper. Um, my reactions, because this stuff is like intense. So I usually like lift up like, ooh, a little, ooh, they got a hair a little bit right here. And then what I do is I like hold the skin. Okay, that wasn't as bad. Usually it's so bad, like it's so bad. And for the most part, it takes like pretty much all the hair. I just have to like go in, if you can see, and like clean up some right there but for the most part it really took all of it off which is great and then i haven't done the middle yet so i have to like do the middle and then i kind of like shape this up right right there on top it never really takes all the hair off which sucks but it took some off today which is great so pretty much like if i took that line away and i took that way that's my brow and that's how easy it is to like wipe 
that off and so it's just it gives you such a good like guideline I'm always bare here that's why like I never take the hair that's here I kind of like leave it there and I have like a couple right here that I have to take and then also I have to trim so I haven't trimmed yet but basically that's my brow I know some people don't have like a lot of hair um maybe doing it like thinner or like thicker just in little areas like wherever you see a lot of hair I would take it out but I thought my reaction was gonna be funny but I guess not <laughs> um so I guess it doesn't really hurt I know the other wax does Ooh, ooh, that one hurt a little bit yeah that one had like most hair so you can see let me see if it will it takes majority of the hair out which is great um so let's see what this side was so this side i need to take out a little bit more hair um with the tweezers and usually i just go in with the tweezers like i have to go like right there Good little sparse. So I usually take like a, I want to say pinza because tweezer. I had to think about that for a minute. pretty even like I said they're cousins they're not sisters so just when I fill it in I'll spill in that sparse area this sparse area there and then go like that and then they'll be even and then I'll kind of fill in this sparse area would will make them even and then the tail I'll do this I don't know where my brush is kind of come up the hair little hair, nothing major. Nothing major. Just little hairs. Really you could do it with your hands. 